I'm back today to tell you all about the latest Zoom update and why you need to download this right now. Download it and here's why. There are three things you need to know. Two are new with this update. The third is something that I only just learned this summer that I forgot to share with you. And you must know this, it helps you with mouse control with students. So first, the first one's really quick and easy, and it's the reaction emojis have changed. There are now, instead of just the clapping and the thumbs up, we've got the heart, the, the laughing, crying emoji, the wow, and then the congratulations. So what happens when you click these is that it doesn't go crazy, but it does appear in your upper left-hand corner, and then it goes away. So, and then if you go to here, this is where things have changed. The up carrot on your stop video will now take you to a virtual filter. So I think in the past I talked to you about backgrounds and they've lumped that together, your background and filters. And so if you go to your filters, this is where you can just change a bunch of different things from your computer that make your speech therapy sessions really fun. Um, for students, maybe uh, you could start the session with uh, glasses, sunglasses, or um, if you want to talk about a pizza party, now you've got a little pizza hat. Uh, there are masks. You could talk to students about being safe with masks. Um, little animals and you can see this is similar to snapchat filters or instagram filters where you can um, change this and this can be another thing that you could use especially with really young kids who maybe really struggle to pay attention like hi what animal am i you know i'm a mouse that kind of thing um there's a deer this would be perfect for like the holidays um if you have somebody that's going to be a graduate. I think that's so cool. Um, Talk Like a Pirate Day, September 9th, although by the time this gets uploaded, it will have passed. Um, so anyway, I just I just think it's really fun um, to do this. And you can update, not only could you update your filter, but you could actually update your background and have them mesh where you're under the water, um, oh my gosh, I'm swimming, um, where am I, what do you see? So it just adds a completely different dimension to your therapy sessions. Um, so I would definitely check those out. Touch up my appearance, I'm going to show you the difference. If I don't touch up my appearance, you can see more fine lines, right? And then I touch up my appearance and it's blurred. So you know, if you do feel self-conscious about your appearance, that's one way to do it. And then the adjustment for low light is new with this new update. So you can see it's a little dark. I had been using a uh, light in this room, a ring light, and now I can just click that. That is new with this update. And so the final thing you have to know is under that settings, the keyboard shortcuts. And the one that's the most important is the one where you you can um, control the mouse, revoke and give up control permission. So this is amazing when a student takes your control and you've given, given them mouse control and they're not letting you get, get it back, you can do this key combination. But here's the ma amazing thing, double click on it and you can turn it into something that maybe would be more memorable for you instead of like up carrot, arrow, G. It might be a um, you know, a code that you could remember, a key code combination that could be easier to remember. And here you can go ahead and just look at all the key codes and the shortcuts that you can use in your sessions. Um, it's amazing. I just, I just am super blown away by this, these keyboard shortcuts. You can take a deep dive into these and change them yourself. You do have to enable them. I hope those three little hacks really help you kind of, you know, feel more comfortable with Zoom, make it more interactive, personalize it. As you can see, I need that filter. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Take care.